Yo, what is up, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the Gamer Update. Thanks for all the subs lately, all the likes and comments. We got a big story, and uh, we'll try and keep this first part pretty brief. As last night, we talked about FaZe Rain calling out Nick Merckx, his supposed $1 million salary, the FaZe CEO for his giant severance package, and all the money that FaZe Clan wastes all over esports. This morning, I made something special. Uh, it's actually this oatmeal that I'm going to be having, so it's going to be nice, and uh, especially paired with this nice cup of coffee. We hope you guys all enjoy, but let's first crack into the the things that happened last night as phase rain took to instagram to talk about all these crazy um crazy things he had to say as he first mentioned a lot of eyes on this one phase recruited nick Merckx in 2018 as damage control their words not mine to the tifu situation and those idiots have been paying him a million dollars a year since i couldn't think of one memorable moment with nick Merckx in phase like literally not one and the huge talking point here being the million dollar salary obviously a big streamer like nick Merckx was going to grab a gigantic price i don't know many people who thought he would you know be doing this for free or uh for some other motivation uh, a, a guy like him, 40 to 50k concurrence and peaking on Twitch as one of the top streamers, he's going to draw a gigantic price tag, I would imagine similar to XQC over at LG. Some people aligning with the point that yes, when you think of Nick Merckx, do you think of FaZe Clan? What exactly has he done for FaZe Clan? And so a lot of people understood where FaZe Rain was coming from. I, on the other hand, I'm also wondering what the true end goal is here going after someone like Nick Merckx. I, I just don't think there's a win here as opposed to exposing his supposed salary. The other stuff that Rain did mention though is still important to highlight. As he talked about the FaZe CEO and his salary, supposedly, allegedly that gigantic severance package that he also has. He also mentions the amount of money that FaZe Clan is melting on esports each and every month to be around $700,000, which let's get this straight. We all know that every organization is burning money in esports. And, uh, you know, when, you, when I think of the FaZe CSGO roster, I think of that's their most prominent esports roster. And certainly that is expensive. And, th and that comes with a price to pay. And certainly I think that has a little bit of kickback for FaZe. When I think FaZe esports, I think CSGO. I don't think of much else in the trickle down effect. Of course, you think of the Rocket League guys, but nonetheless, $700,000 a month it is no cheap expense, but that also probably rivals many other organizations. It might be lower than some top organizations out there as well who actually have teams in franchise leagues. The craziest part is too, the CEO got about like what, five, six million shares or something like that. And it's only because he hired a fuck ton of incompetent staff, right? Like motherfuckers from HBO, boomers, just boomers that don't get shit, right? Overpays them X amount, a few hundred thousand dollars a year, hundreds of thousands of shares, whatever, right? He causes a mess. Right, and then FaZe can't afford to pay for these employees, so he pays for it out of his own money. Right, he covers the mess that he made, and then he gives himself millions of shares for it. I buy a Counter Strike team for us when we need it. That's only a blessing. That's not even a mess. I just actually added something to the team. I get nothing out. No, not even a dollar. I don't even get my money back. So really quickly, what you guys came here for, then we'll talk on all these other points that Rain has brought up. Nick Merckx has now responded to this as well on stream. I would say, and I, I said this all the time back in the day, probably the best response you probably can have in this situation is Nick Merckx says, hey, I'm gonna pay respect to the OGs. I feel bad for what they have been through that makes them hate FaZe Clan so much. But honestly, I don't give a frick. And that, that, that was my word choice, not his. But I don't think you could probably ask for much of a better response to, to this kind of drama. It, and it, like this, it, it'll probably end here. <laughs> I, I was up I was up at 9 a.m. with Nico, 8 a.m. with Nico. And then, and then I've been at the beach all day, bro. What the fuck's going on? You know what I mean? Kid, kid is a clown. Nah, nah. I mean, I didn't. You know what, man? I, I don't even have a lot to say about it. I, I just, I figured I would bring it up, try to get ahead of it. If you guys are going to bring it up to me in the chat, you know. Um, listen, I don't know the guy very well. I've sat down with him, shit, two times, a time maybe, you know, and I don't, I don't know him very well. I don't, uh, I do, I do know him like as well as you guys do. Like I've seen some of the things he's been through and I know he's a Call of Duty veteran, a YouTube veteran, especially in, um, I, I just, just like the gaming space as a whole, man. He's just a vet. I feel bad for the things that he's been through and I feel bad, I feel bad that him and some of the guys feel the way they do about the clan you know um and i'm not, i don't intend or want to get in between them or phase clan and what they're doing um 
I just don't think it's it's not it's not for me. I have to respect those that came before me, and I have to respect all the work and the time that they put in into this organization, into this clan. Um, and I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna really respond too crazy to him. I'm not gonna, yeah. You know, I, I don't really have a lot to say to the guy. Um, but I will say to you guys, I, I'll, I'll say to you guys, the the one the one specific part that I'll address that he did say he 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 kind of talked about my ethic and the work that i put in but who you know the 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 the, the shit that i bring to the table in phase clan he kind of he kind of talked about that and he, he uh you know he had some choice words um i'll say this i'm so proud of us i'm so proud of this community i'm so proud of my team i'm so proud of my fucking damn self man i i've i work my fucking ass off People can say what they want to say, man, but I've been up on top of the game for fucking years, man. I've been up here, and we put in work, bro. We do shit that nobody else does. We do it in ways that nobody else does, and 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 and, and we and we've been doing this shit for a long time, and I'm proud of that, bro. Um, so for him to come at my ethic, you know, the work that I put in, I think it's I think it's a little foolish. I think it's a little little bit cringe, you know, but. At the same time, I, I can take a step back and, and kind of understand that he's probably going through a lot. And, and I don't wish no ill will on that homie. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not. I, I hope he gets everything figured out. And I hope. I hope. Uh, I hope it turns around. You know. But for me, and for us, and for what we bring to Phase Clan, and what we bring to all of our partners and all of our business relations, man, I think that we're Why doing a great I job. Are expecting our first kids no! boy in about one month. One second. Congrats. I think that we're doing a great job. And I want to keep doing a great job, okay? I want to stay right here. I want to stay in my own lane, doing my own thing, uh, and, and all the things that we're doing, okay? We 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 are we're doing partnerships with the UFC. We're doing partnerships with the NFL. We're 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 doing partnerships with with colossal brands like Under Armour, um, Corsair, Scuff entirely. Um, we got MFAM Gauntlets. We're we're in the UFC international fight or, or, or fucking like the whole the whole place doing a doing a fucking gigantic tournament land consecutively i mean bro we're doing big things man i i'm i'm super stoked for it uh and that's where i want to be that's where i want to stay man so that's all i'm gonna say on that man i'm just gonna i'm just gonna highlight the things that we've been doing that's great and 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 keep my focus there uh i mean shit, i have a baby now chat so as far as this drama shit goes and people people trying to bring me into stuff i mean bro i don't give a fuck man and again it doesn't get much better than that i think nick Merckx knows by now and of course a family man and has the m fan behind him has really no no need to engage in all of this and the more you do engage the more it gets talked about and the more it gets covered obviously and this will probably end here with that kind of thing you know you pay your respects you say sorry for what they went through. That's not his experience that he's had with FaZe Clan. And you also say, hey, man, like I got a kid now. I don't engage in this kind of stuff. And the best way to do it is like, yeah, I, I don't really care. He's just living his life and we'll see where FaZe reign, what he does from here. Because if you guys have been following this, I'll have follow-up videos on all of these topics. He's been on a, a bit of a tear lately. Not just lately, for the past few months. Exposing all these things about FaZe Clan, at the very least bringing discussion to the FaZe stuff. And I, I do have respect for Rain. I've reached out to him and I know that I don't think he feels the same way. We At one point we we're gonna interview and then he, he backed out of the interview. And you know, it, I would still love to sit down and talk to him about what his angle is and, and where his future's approach is going and what his end goal for all of this is. But now he's leaking FaZe Clan signings and, and now he's leaking supposed salaries of one of the most beloved FaZe members in Mercs. I mean, he's not going after Jev or Rug or the OG members, that would make no sense, but you're still going after one of the biggest streamers on Twitch and the biggest streamer in FaZe Clan. It just feels like I, I'm, I'm a bit confused where all this came from. That's not to say that FaZe Rain is short of any support on what he has actually spoken about. When you talk about Nick Merckx, do you really think about FaZe Clan? I think that's a good argument to be made for any streamer attached to an organization. When I think of Nick Merckx, I think of Nick Merckx and his brand and the M fan because he is so big, he doesn't need FaZe. Maybe FaZe need him a, a bit more, 
But also, Ray makes a good point. Is any streamer out there really worth a million dollars a year? But that's at no fault to Nick Merckx for whatever he negotiated with FaZe. If they're going to pay him a supposed million dollars a year to put a logo on his stream and, you know, for them to host a couple MFAM events, who's not taking that deal? You know, it's not his fault that they're not requiring him to be in videos or to make content from time to time. So I see both sides. I, I certainly do. I think it's disappointing to see such big names now embroiled in this. And, and I, I, I was pretty keen on the response from Merckx to all this. But that's not to go without saying that, that Rain has made some good points throughout this montage of calling out FaZe Clan. I just want to know what's next. That's it. And if he ever wants to talk, I would love to talk at length about this. And uh, yeah, he, he has, uh, has had problems with me. Would love to call those out. I'm not perfect either. But either way, Nick Merckx has now responded to FaZe Rain and some of his allegations against FaZe CEO, Nick Merckx, and all this stuff. What do you guys think about it? But I do want to say thank you all so much. We're approaching 1,000 subscribers. Makes me truly happy. We're back from the Paris Major at CSGO, and I'm uh, more ready than ever to kick out some content. So stay tuned. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Bye-bye.